In 1885, the Congo Free State is established. King Leopold II claims it as his own personal territory. The Belgian king transforms the country into a massive labor camp and amasses a huge personal fortune. Ivory is his principal source of wealth until the global rubber boom in the early 1890s. His exploits cost up to 10 million lives. Bloodshed leads to international outcry. Leopold sells control of Congo to the Belgian state in 1908. In 1958, Congolese people protest against colonial rule. Patrice Lumumba founds the Congolese national movement dedicated to achieving independence. In 1960, Lumumba wins the elections and Congo gets its independence. But he finds an empty coffer as Belgium robbed the treasury, burdening the new government with debts. L'instruction que les Européens nous donnaient à l'école, le principe des civilisations et des morales, avec les actes que ces Européens commettaient vis-à-vis -vis des populations noires. Lumumba is removed from power in September of the same year. In 1961, Lumumba is assassinated, with reported involvement from Belgium and the CIA. After his death, his body is secretly buried but later dug up, cut up with a hacksaw, and dissolved in acid in an attempt to cover up the crime. In 1965, Mobutu seizes power in a CIA-backed coup. Je ne suis pas né pour m'accrocher au pouvoir. Over the next 32 years, the dictator would go on to rename the country Zaire, embezzle billions of dollars, and preside over the evisceration of Congolese institutions. La fortune du président Mobutu c'est plus que la dette du Zaire. On ergote autour de ça. Soyons sérieux. In 1994, Tutsi rebels take control of Rwanda. Over a million people, including perpetrators of the genocide, take refuge in neighboring Zaire. Thousands of refugees die in squalid conditions. In 1997, backed by Rwanda and Uganda, Laurent Kabila overthrows Mobutu. In 2001, Laurent Kabila is assassinated by his bodyguard. He is succeeded by his 29-year-old son, Joseph. In 2015, Congolese people take to the streets to demand free and fair presidential elections the following year. Political crackdown ensues as Kabila is accused of trying to hold on to power. November 2016, the date that elections are supposed to be held. If Kabila holds on to power, experts warn of a return to its bloody past where millions died. Will the international community allow history to repeat itself?